morning guys this is uh, Dan and Sam from uh, Fisher Deep Adventures uh, this is uh, day five on the Kentucky Adventure Tour yesterday we covered from uh, Cumberland Gap um, State Forest all the way to where we are now which is just outside of Whitesburg Kentucky and um, we're uh, we we're camped here on the Little Shepherd Trail right on the ridge line it was a good day of uh, views and just kind of uh, general exploring we we cut the day short uh, yesterday just because we had a long day the day before so it's been a good uh, you know five days uh, on the trail and we've seen a lot of things and gone a lot of places covered a lot of ground um, had a lot of different adventures and uh, certainly tested my skills as a driver um, from the four-wheel drive side of things and uh, you know, really have seen part of the country that I never would have seen before, which is the whole point. So, um, if this is something you're interested in, uh, please stick around for the video. Uh, we appreciate all your support. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe uh, to get notified of the next video. Um, if this is your first video, please check out the other four in the series. Um, I think you'll really like it. So, uh, we're going to get packed up here, then we'll uh, see you on the trail. Alright guys, we are uh, back on the road. Uh, so today we're going to be headed toward uh, Wise, Virginia, um, and then eventually back down to uh, 81. So we're going to uh, finish out our uh, uh, drive along the ridge line and then um, start heading uh, a little west and then, um, I mean, a little east. There's an offshoot trail that we're going to jump on and then we'll get back on the uh, Kentucky Adventure Tour for a short period of time. And then uh, we'll figure out uh, how far we're going to go before we duck off today. So. We uh, came off the uh, mountain and uh, we're back on the uh, Kentucky Adventure Tour and um, it looks like we're just, uh, we got back roads. Um, we're going headed north toward uh, Pound, uh, Virginia. We took a little detour um, to the North Fork of Pound Lake. Um, it's just a really small recreation area. Um, the lake's in the background, so. Water level seems really low, but. Right, once you pass Pound, um, you're gonna turn right on uh, Smith Mountain Road. This is uh, Mill Rock Point Overlook. Absolutely beautiful.
guys, the Kentucky Adventure Tour continues to provide surprises. That was Mill Rock Point Overlook, and wow, uh, the view uh, from that uh, space is uh, super cool and well worth the uh, trip that we weren't intending to take today um, as we were going to head down toward Appalachia and uh, Big Stone Gap. We decided to continue on uh, north, and I'm glad we did because that was really cool uh that was the uh end of our uh trip so uh we got off of the kentucky adventure tour um right near grundy uh in the coal capital of uh, uh southwest uh kentucky virginia uh west virginia that whole area is the coal belt and um we followed 460 all the way um back to uh Route 52 to 77, um, and now we're on the interstate again. So it's been a great five days. Um, you know, I hope I hope you guys got something from this series of videos that we've taken. You know, some lessons learned, just real quick, um, and then we'll wrap it up. And that is, be prepared. Uh, know where you're going to get fuel. Know where you're going to stop for the night, and uh, have all of your uh, recovery stuff available um, and easily accessible because you never know when you're going to need it. So just, uh, you know, understand your capabilities and do the research on the trails to make sure you're in places that not only you want to be as a driver, but you want to your vehicle to be as a owner operator. So we got ourselves caught a couple times and, um, you know, we thankfully made it through but uh, we probably should have done a little bit more trail research. Um, I guess I had relied heavily on the GPX file to kind of guide me down the right path. And uh, obviously in certain circumstances, that was not the case. So we had watched a bunch of YouTube videos and several, most of them didn't show any of the trails uh, that, that we uh, had, had gone on that I would classify as difficult and uncomfortable. Um, all the stuff that made it to YouTube, uh, for the most part, we found, um, and they were uh, fairly docile. Uh, some were challenging, but still, uh, there's a whole bunch that, uh, there's miles and miles and miles of trails we spent um, time on in these videos uh, that are not on the internet uh, right now. So maybe it's because we had no business being there. But, uh, if not, you know, watch the videos and see if it's something that, that you want to be a part of and um, make sure that if you take that route that you just take that into consideration. So, guys, thanks for watching. Um, it was a great five days for me to kind of unplug from work and everything else to reset. And uh, I hate to head home, but it's kind of what you got to do now. So we saw some great things from the little black bear to some of the most picturesque uh, mountaintop views that I've I've seen so and then like I said you know those four-wheel drive trails that we did certainly tested my ability and I think I'm a better driver now because of it uh, we're fortunate that we didn't break anything um, but at the same time it 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 makes me respect um, the vehicle and the, the trail got a big trip planned this summer um, out to Colorado uh, New Mexico. Uh, we'll probably do a couple other uh, short trips. Uh, Jacob's getting ready to come home from college, so we will probably go do something uh, with him uh, once it gets back. So this is Dan and Sam's asleep back there uh, from Fisher Deep Adventures, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the trail.